I tell you, we, we're, uh, we're disappointed. I thought um, uh, we were expecting a, a different night. Uh, and, um, you know, disappointing. Uh, I, I didn't think, uh, you know, there's no way you can spot a team um, like that and, and try to fight your way all the way back. And there were, I think, five or six times we had a chance to go up and we never could get over that hump. And, um, you know, it's been, the, it's been the story of our day all day long. Things weren't right, weren't quite right. Um, you know, I told our team afterwards that, hey, man, you got to have a sense of urgency with your wake up. You got to have a sense of urgency with your shoot around, your pregame meal, your before your practice, uh, before your games, all of those things. Um, I thought we were very tight tonight for whatever reason. Uh, we hadn't played at home in a while. Not to make any excuses because they are a good team. We knew that their record was deceiving. We knew that uh, they had a bona fide player that makes them good. Um, you know, it's disappointing. I think it's a, certainly a wake-up call for us. And, you know, I've been I've been warning and trying to guard against this for the last couple of weeks that, you know, we're not as good as, as uh, maybe everybody thinks we are. We've got to get over that hump. We've got to be a lot better defensively. We've got to be a lot better offensively. Uh, rebounding the basketball. Um, you know, I thought that, that when things didn't go well tonight, uh, once again, when adversity hit us, uh, frustration set in. I could see it all over their faces. You know, the, the shots that we have normally been making, uh, we were not making, and it just got worse and worse and worse. And so we tried to uh, really switch up the lineup a little bit, switch up some uh, some combinations. And I thought we, we we got out of that hole a little bit. I thought Darren Gray really did a good job tonight, coming off the bench. He played some good minutes tonight. I thought Jerikus Bradley was a horse. I thought he was just just as solid and good as he could be tonight. I just think you know Lucas played some good minutes, but you know overall as a team. Uh, you know, what Tyler and Nino have to understand is that they have a bullseye on their chest every night. They're going to double and triple team him every time. Um, and so you've got to let those guards make those plays for you. I thought we were very tentative. And at the end of the day, you got to hit some shots. And, um, you know, we didn't do that. I thought we came out and played tight. Uh, I was proud of the, uh, the comeback and the fight back and, and proud of our crowd and, proud of, and, and, uh, and the, uh, the atmosphere tonight was really good. Uh, it's disappointing we couldn't have sent those uh, fans home with a win. And so, uh, that being said, I'll open that up. Dickie, was there a rust factor at all, not having played in a week? Is that, does that play into the early well, start? Well, you know, I, I know that, uh, you know, as a coach, you don't ever try to uh, talk about that. But, I, you know, I do think that was maybe a little bit. Um, you know, again, not making any excuses at all. But, you know, we hadn't played in a while. We hadn't played here in a while. I thought that uh, we were trying way too hard to – trying to impress our fans or whatever it might have been and, and we just what well, we just got we just dug ourselves such a hole and um, that was uh, it was too much to overcome and then we, we just couldn't physically uh, you know get get over that hump and um, you know I give them credit for that but, but you know the, the bottom line is it's a wake-up call it's a wake-up call you're not as good as you think you are you know wake up and, and understand that you got to work harder. You, you've got to you got to play better defense. You got to work harder. You got to show up earlier. You know all of those things have got to be a big part of growing our basketball team. And you know until we do that, we're going to be a competitive team. But we're not going to get to the echelon that we want. We want to get to the next level. And to do that, you've got to have 13 guys pulling all in the same direction, as hard as you can, trying to get stops. And uh, hey, I, I'm confident with this team. I think we have a lot of ball to be played. And uh, Hey, we're going to be all right. We're, we're going we're gonna to regroup and get to practice tomorrow, get my medicine, and uh, you know, which is practice, and, uh, and get ready for a very tough Memphis team. So, this struck me as a similar game to last year when you guys played Central Arkansas here, similar type of team where very winnable game, but at the end they got the best you on your home court. Do you see any similarities with that? And, and you know, you know game you should have won back. maybe? You know, we look forward. You know, of course, you could, you know, you could look at every, every team and, uh, you know, and, and – uh, you know, you got a good memory, uh, but uh, yeah, probably so. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't really care anything about it, but I, I do care about uh, getting better as a team and, and trying to uh, stop one of their bona fide players, so to speak. You know, Barlow was a, a handful. I mean, he was good at Purdue, and uh, they got him in there, and uh, their inside play was good. They have a very solid team. Again, their record is deceiving. They're a good team. I'm not making any excuses. Very winnable game for us. You know, now we have to make that up somewhere along the way. We've got to go make up. Uh, a win somewhere we're not supposed to to get that win back. You mentioned the struggles of the big guys. Eleven total points between Nino and Tyler. Is that just a you know, double team? They got to find a way to either give you it know, to the guards. You know, double and triple team yeah. like that. You know, you've got to depend on your other guys to hit shots. You got to depend on your other guys to uh, to do a good job 
um, of, of creating baskets, and uh, we, we just didn't do a good job. I mean, that, that wasn't our problem. Our problem was, um, it was early on uh, our problem, but uh, defense was our problem. Uh, you know, uh, allowing um, second shots, um, you know, percentages, it's funny how that works. Percentages go up on the second shot. When they get a rebound and kick out, they're hitting a three. It just seemed like everything went in their way. Everything went against us. We were truly tested tonight. And I knew that coming in. I knew this would be a very, very, very tough test for us because, uh, because of the, you know, because how good they were. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just, we're still not there yet. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're getting better. Uh, we're competitive. Um, but for order us, in order for us to, to get over that hump, we've, we've got to get a lot better.